Hello and welcome to another episode of Sailing Indiana. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, yeah, don't know what to say now. Okay. What should I say? Welcome to our sailing channel, Sailing Indiana. I'm Lauren and this is Chris. And this is our beautiful home, Indiana. We don't know much about sailing, but for the last two years, we've jumped feet first into a life on the water. So here's to adventure. Here's to sailing around the world. To a life less ordinary. To whatever tomorrow brings. Welcome aboard. Back. All right, we just dropped our mooring ball and we are heading out of the Helford River. It's been lovely, but I think this will be the last of the sunshine and nice weather for a few days. So it's about to turn a bit ugly as of tomorrow evening. And um, yeah, Saturday and Sunday aren't looking too good either. So yeah, we think we'll make our escape now and um, get out while we still can. It's a little bit windier this morning as well, but I think that's just died off now. There actually might not be enough wind, so we might have to stay on the motor a little bit, but um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. We'll see what it's like when we get out there. Hello. Howdy. <laughs> see an update on the wind at the moment. We've just gone down from about 15s or 20s, 15s, down to maybe seven, and it will be, at the moment it's on I think it's probably on our stern. Oh no, it's on our bat, on our, at the moment the wind's on our port um, beam and we'll come out and it will kind of be ahead of us a little bit. So we're gonna try and keep it on the port bow and see if we can get um, a little bit of wind out of it. Yeah, the right angle to get us up there, but there's not gonna be much of it either way. So. Got five knots now. <laughs> yeah. I think we should get a bit more as we come out. This is it's obviously protected here in the river. so. As we come out, we should see a bit more of it, but um, we might just get a few gusts here and there, but nothing serious, so. I got rusty fingers on the mooring ball. <laughs> rusty fingers. Yeah, it's a bit windy in here. Yeah, it's windy. Shows you what sort of tide we're up against when the visitor balls are getting sucked under by it. We're doing 2.4 knots at the minute. I just want to get us out of this uh, little bay here. Yeah, we might start slowing down in a minute. It's a, it's a bit of a rip coming in. It's um, yeah, the tide is coming in at us, so we'll see how we get on. But what can you do? Worst case, turn around. there. Howdy. How's it going? Yeah, it's going really well actually. Um, a few, 
few sort of gusts of like 17, 18, but majority is 11, 12. And we've got, yeah, we've got the perfect angle work just to, to get up into the mouth of the fowl, kind of north of um, some moors, so then we can turn back with the wind and then come up into the fowl. So um, hopefully just one tack and then we'll get there. Yeah. Well, we've got our engine on once we've passed the town sort of thing as we've got that the wind won't let us get any further but um but yeah it's nice to have sailed the majority of it well all of it i suppose yeah it's so pretty so. this is it right now how beautiful Sails are away. Sails are away. Are we good? Nice. What time is it? Good time. 7.24. 7.24? Yeah. Nice. Oh, I should get in and tie it up by 8 o'clock at least. Lovely. And then we can go and get some dinner. Then we can get some dinners. Or I can make dinner. One of the two. Yeah. There's a little boat coming. It's got his little lights on. had a little delivery in the post from the wonderful ship shape bedding i don't know if you guys have seen it was an episode a while ago our old mattress is shocking it doesn't work it gets a bit damp and a little bit it gets soaking wet during the winter that they've got a crease down the middle of it and it just gets like so damp it's unbelievable so we've taken the decision that it's time to buy a new mattress yeah so we spoke to ship shape bedding who've been absolutely amazing and they've now sent us two active cool pillowcases which are amazing because if anyone else gets super hot in the night like me especially when you're like sleeping in like a small cabin when there's two of you it gets a little bit warm in there so very exciting we have a new boat mattress template so we're going to be doing this today so what they do if you order a new mattress they'll send you out a template kit and then you put it out where the bed or where the mattress is that you want to replace and then you just draw around it cut it out and so it's the right size yeah and then you send it off to them and they go oh this is how big you want your mattress and they build it for you so it sounds like it's too good to be true but we're gonna find out for you and um let you know how we get on it looks pretty straightforward to give them to give them credit yeah, yeah. so um i'm just standing on the saloon because chris is way taller than me so. <laughs> <laughs> everyone thinks i'm like grown overnight yeah this is just where lauren stands now to be <laughs> at the same level <laughs> otherwise we film like this all right let's do this all right let's get into it i'm really excited about this Lauren's always in no time at all. Oh, so I get very hot in the night and these are cooling cushion, like pillowcases. So they're like actually really like cool to touch and they're really good in the summer. It does get quite warm in this boat, especially if you've had the heating on in the winter. So this is literally amazing. 
because I don't like a hot room. I like a cold, cold pillowcase. It's like the best thing in the whole world. So I'm really excited about this. You just run in and put it on straight away. <laughs> Literally, I'm like, I'm going straight. <laughs> Okay, can go on this one. I'm going straight to sleep after this. Look at that. Well, they're really nice, aren't they? They like feel super soft. Actually, yeah, really good quality. See ya. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's cold. And sleep so good tonight. Okay, we're gonna need a template. Yes. A pen. Some tape. Sticky tape. tape. Yep. And oh, scissors. Scissors, tape, and pen. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. So we're gonna take all of this stuff out. All right. You're in. I'm in. I've got to take the deep, the um, mattresses out. And we have also got from Ship Shape Bedding this underneath the mattress at the moment, which I think again we did another episode a while ago. The dry mat, so it kind of helps. It's breathe a little bit more and it has been working to be fair it's definitely like a hundred times better than it was but um we just need a new mattress the thing with boats and the problems with mattresses is it's just there's no airflow underneath between the mattress and the wooden boards there whereas usually a, a bed in a house would have slats and and airflow it's just poor poor ventilation and um yeah you just your body heat just goes through and there's nowhere to go and so it just forms a a, a vapor Ugh. we're in so yeah so now i'm gonna put the template down and we're gonna trace it along this bit i'm assuming we have to go up yeah it's a tricky one because we've got the back here goes right up and then the back wall slopes in as well so we're just gonna have to um make sure we're clear on how it angles how it angles slopes. on the instructions and just try and get it right i suppose yeah. They're all angled. Yeah, they're all angled apart from just this one yeah. here where the fuel tank's behind there. So they got their work cut out. Let's <laughs> get <laughs> Okay, so this is the template. So we are now just going to open it up. Arts and crafts. We just cut the excess off and we're just about to start drawing out or yeah marking out the um, template or the trace um, around and then we can do a final cut of the excess and we'll have the template. We need to start m noting out where different walls come in and out or bulkheads and that should be it. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to measure then from here outwards to show then the, the angle of the slope um, but to, to show that that is the slope and not and not needing to be seven inches thick. So we had seven inches starting up here. We'd be in up here with the mattress and we'd be in a lot of trouble. So we need the seven inches to stop here, slowly taper out up to here. So you've just got you know an, an inch left here and then coming out to the big mattress to stop there and the same over here. So it's, um yeah, it's a bit of an irregular shape. So mm. don't know if that comes across well on video. But yeah, we try our best to represent the, represent what the we're funny up to. shape. Yeah. yeah. Sleeping on the job. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, look, we've got work to do. <laughs> it's so cozy in here. You just stay there. <laughs> That's the new bed. We don't need all this muck. No, around. just a little sleep in the upright position like this. Yeah, nice. Perfect. Night. Night then. Mm. So we are getting our measurements in and trying to make sense of this slope thing because they're going to need to know how much the slope goes up by and then also there's a sloping wall as well and then this wall slopes inwards so what I've done I've just measured the height from here to the top of the slope so at this point it's only one inch and then I've gone from that so the mattress is going to be 7.5 inches so I've deducted the one inch height from there to give 6.5 inches and then at that point if you measure along here 6.5 the gap between the 6.5 and the sloping wall is 2.5 centimeters so I'm just going to do that along the way and that should be enough to get us where we need to be from, from my advice I'd mostly say seven and a half inch height if we take some sort of ruler or that like I said, magazine cut off at the seven and a half inch 
almost just draw it like you know straight you know vertically down yeah draw... i've got a good idea now to see what your actual space is it's yeah a... yeah <laughs> weird and wonderful ones that almost turns two or three different ways so yeah it is a strange one right that seems to be it then we've measured out at the ends there where the slopes going up and everything that we've said all the way back to here um yeah not too tricky really you just got to get your head around any sloping bits and sloping walls and and get them written down on the paper Whew. but yeah it's been a fun exercise let's put it that way yeah it takes a little bit longer than you think but it's actually um yeah it's just about getting your head around it and getting getting the your spatial awareness <laughs> kind of in tune with um what you're doing hoping that um that it's all right and we send it off and um they can make us a mattress out of piecing together what we've put down <laughs> yeah and here's an overview of everything as we've done it and hoping that we've done it right <laughs> what have we got to eat tonight mm. lauren Sorry, I chickpea in my mouth. Um, I have made butternut orzo, and then I've done some roasted courgettes and chickpeas to put on top. And then we've also got some leftovers for butternut soup tomorrow. Oh, I yes. know, so good. Perfect We are no, a messy, messy kitchen. <laughs> but yeah, so it should be yummy. We're living life. Mm -mm. See, that's what you can cook on a boat. Mm -hmm.